Coach, uh, I, the, the, your thoughts on the, on the game today? Oh, we were tired. You know, the big lesson we talked about at halftime and we have to come out of it is, at this level, fitness is fitness. And sometimes you have to play two really good physical experienced teams in a 24-hour period. And we weren't prepared for that today. I don't think we were particularly, our thinking was off. I don't think our movement was off. I don't think our shape was off. But we were slow and they're tired and they're not mentally into it. And this is going to happen at the CIS level. You play two games every weekend, and sometimes it's against two very good teams. And it was two very good teams today. So hopefully we learn from this and realize that day two preparation needs to be just as big as day one preparation. And I don't think they were mentally and physically prepared to play as much as we were yesterday. A natural part of the growing curve, and I understand that with our youth and kids getting their first experience against teams like this. But that was the big differentiator today. They completely outworked us all over the field. Our girls were in it mentally, and they were trying to do the right things. But we got outworked everywhere, and it showed in the final. The, the, and we just got the girls just caught it for the last two minutes of the game. You know, a breakaway in the 92nd minute to give up a fourth goal with nobody really hustling back except for Cassie Morris, the, play of the player of the game, who'd already made three great defensive runs in the last five minutes of the game, and she's the only one pursuing the ball back for an easy breakaway. So, I mean, these are the things that we have to take it up a notch for sure. Some great scoring chances on your team today. We had better. We had better. You know, our finishing is still panicky. You know, we're, we're a team now that's developing scoring chances where we've had trouble with that in the past. Um, but the first touch is letting us down and we're having panicky shots on goal. So we talked about that too at halftime, that it's nice to create shots. I'm more interested in creating chances and taking them properly. So that's our next elevation is to just not be happy that we got a shot on goal, but actually executing it properly. Another positive sign, maybe uh, you, you made some changes at the second half. You brought some players in. Ava Simpson, I thought, added a little spark for you as well. Certainly going forward. She, you know, she has the same errors as, uh, as a lot of the players going back, not picking up the right people, not being engaged in the game. So, but she certainly has the spark that I've always known she's had, dribbling the ball and getting into the attack. And she definitely brought that, so a big check mark for her after a, after a week or so off. Doesn't get any easier, Fraser Valley and Trinity Western on the road. On the road. It's gonna be, we talked about that too at halftime. It's only going to get worse next weekend. We have two huge games against really tough, strong teams, and this time it's going to be on the road instead of sleeping in our own beds. So you know, we'll talk about it during the week, and I hope they learn from it.